Welcome to the show, Older, Wiser, Feeling Younger, John. <laughs> Jeez, good uh, title, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, how did you get your interest being a petrol head? Where did it all start? Um, I grew up in a, in a racing family, a car family, so, which happens to a lot of kids, I'm sure. My dad was a, was a mechanic, a motor mechanic, and we always had cars around our, our driveway and our workshop at home. This is Tasmania, of course, this, which is where I grew up. Yeah. So with your racing career, how did that kick off? Uh, I, I used to uh, work at a VW dealership after school, you know, sweeping the floors and cleaning the oil bottles and things. And I bought this really small window early model Beetle unbeknownst to my, my parents. So I bought it for like 80 bucks or something. Yeah. And, uh, and I used to sneak out of a night and drive it. This is when I was 15. Yeah. So when my old man found out, he went absolutely off, as you can imagine, rightly so. Yeah. And uh, uh, so he, when I was turned 16, he, he, he sort of said, well, how about we get you, you know, a racing car? Uh, and he went halves with me, so I bought a we bought together a Formula V, which was an Elfin, mm. which uh, oh, was an Australian, you know, yeah. car, and, and I had quite a long history with Elfin yeah. uh, after that. But uh, yeah, I think I think my old man encouraged me to, to race to get me off the street, which is you know Good pretty idea. sensible, and and, yeah. it, and it still applies now. But you know, yeah. it's uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody, you know, if anyone's watching, that they let their kids drive around without a license but in those days it wasn't obviously quite as dangerous and mm, especially in Tassie yeah. in Tassie yeah. and the, the pop, you know the population was pretty small so yeah. but uh, yeah look so, so you started off so you started off in in open wheelers and, and um, yep. you, you progressed right through the open wheeler mm. stages right through to your two Australian drivers championships and uh, yeah I I loved open wheelers so I raced open wheelers and I lived in Tassie so I traveled a fair bit and you know just uh, I, I, I I know that modern day sport has this this uh, goal setting thing about it, but I, I didn't ever set any goals. I just loved doing it, and, and I think the enthusiasm and the desire to do it well mm. kind of carried me on, you know. And yeah. I had obviously I had help, through, you know, over the years from various people. Um, yeah. So you moved on from your open wheeler category to tin tops. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. it started out in the tin tops, all, huh? all famous, all famous two forty T. Yeah, Volvo yeah, yeah, with yeah. Uh, Robbie. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and, that was um, uh, mid eighties, eighty six, in fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that was a pretty quick car when it held together. Oh, it was yeah, and it gave me my opportunity to to race in. Like Australia's always been a a, a tin top. We, you know, people of our era call it tin tops. It's, it's V eight supercars now, but yeah. you know, <laughs> but it was. I still call them tin tops. So, yeah. Uh, and you know, it was it was actually the only really serious professional motor racing in Australia yeah. because it attracted the sponsorship and that's it used right. to then and it still does now. the majority, so, that's what yeah. they watch. Yeah, watch, that's right. That's what they feel with it. their yeah. day life. So um, you did your time in, in touring cars and V8 supercars, as they call it now, and you went mm. right through that and you yep. um, changed teams and sponsors and everything yeah. and came out the other end. Yeah. And did John Bow say, what do I do now? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, really. Difficult. This is not that long ago, you know. Mm. But this is uh, the end of 2007. Even though I, I could still drive or quite well, and I and I still can really. Um, the, just the edginess you get as a as a youngster, you you lose. And I decided in 2007, early in the year, that I, that would be my last year as a as a professional driver. And and so I had a, a, a very long you know, professional career. I, yeah. I drove professionally for 23 years or something. Yeah, so, so in any sport, it's a very long career, perhaps mm. other than golf. Uh, but I didn't deal with it. I just could not, you know, I couldn't come to terms with it. So I distracted myself with anything I could. And it was, you know, and by the time I got through 2007, I, I got actually really depressed. I mean, I really was in quite bad shape. Yeah. yeah truly. So, You've dealt with that and you've obviously successfully come out of that and um, yeah, life goes yeah. on. You know, I, 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 my life has changed, so you're right, I've, uh, I've dealt with it, but, I, but I'm still kind of the same inside, so yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a very complex business, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Thanks very much, John. No worries, Great mate. Talk to you. Thank you.